it's about to be on right now on this jaw dropper hover rigging it right over him got him dude jaw dropper dude with the little yamamoto on the back what is this it feels so small oh my gosh Woo, smoking them look at that giant good morning everybody nate from the bass hook up here and i'm excited for today because we finally get to bring the big boat out on the first actual lake of the year here we went to rancho seco one time but we're out on lake berryessa today i got my buddy dominic here he said he's gonna spank him even though he's got the cowboys beanie i think on he should have a niners beanie on no but <laughs> yep dominic my buddy gary and uh we're gonna come out here and we haven't been out here in in months so i really don't know what to expect although i'm graphing right now and there's bait all over it looks like from 40 to 40 to 60 feet there's tons of bait so that might be like the area that we need to target but we're gonna go run around try to find some fish i already caught one if you guys already saw it maybe i put it in the intro i already caught one but um that's what we're doing so stay tuned this should be a good episode I think there's, I think this lake's just loaded with bait now. Anywhere in that 40 to 60 foot range, dude, there's. Here we go now. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of suspended fish, dude, out there. Dude, it's like, hey, oh, got one, dude. Got one. Better one, too. Yep, right out there, dude. They're only like 10 feet down. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's little, dude. Hey. Hover rigging with the jaw dropper, dude, through 3 16th. So I'm suspended right out there. There's probably like 15 of them out there. Yes. All right, jaw dropper. Just hover rigging that thing right out there on that school of fish. Caught a couple on the old uh, Yamamoto shad shape worm, dude. I gotta go to old. Gotta go to old faithful. The baby Z2. The baby Z2 just looks looks too good on there. In oh, no? that's a that's a good one. It's the best one of the day. No, they're not really. I just seen one up there near the shore. Up shallow, dude. Oh, dude. Careful. Be careful. Oh, yeah. Biggest spot yet. You want me to save it? I'll save it. Biggest spot yet, dude. Pound and a half. Woo! Pound and a half. Woo! Man, look at that. Was that on the jaw dropper? Yep. Jaw dropper. Oh, yeah. Just hover. Oh no! Broke my line. In the boat. <laughs> Gotta retie it on there now. But, yep. Nice little spot. Oh, it. Nothing. Nothing like a. Nothing. Nothing even close to what you need for a twenty-pound bag. But, <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> There we go. Like good one too. Huh? Dude, I can't catch him unless I 
see him, dude, honestly. And one of them was like, I seen two of them like way out there. Dang, look at all the bait right there. I seen two of them way out there. And then the third, the one that actually ate it, dude, I didn't even see it. It like came from this way and dove down and ate it hella quick. Looking for like, like that. That's, that's good size bait right there, dude. It's a really good sized bait. Oh, dude, got one. A crappie. I bet it's a crappie, dude. Yeah. I bet you anything. Yep, nice. Crop. Crappie. Oh, jaw dropper. Small one, dude, for here. Look at that. Little baby crappie. Mm -hmm. Kind of fast, though. Your worm, Gary, is like th 20 feet away from him. Oh, got another one. Feels small, too. Yep, dang, they're small. These are too small. These are bait fish size right here. Little crappies. Oh, I wasn't even recording. Dang it. <laughs> I just caught that guy right there on that. First gen compact split blade, the Glimmer Shad. Nice small mouth. Super fat. Super fat, just reeling it right down this shoreline right here. Old school. Not even looking at the forward facing. Just go down the bank. Got a little Kitek trailer on there. Dude, it hammered it. I know, if you're watching it, all day long and then at the end of the day you're like man oh trout dude oh dang you try to here i need the net oh, dude, it just... ah broke you off it's a big old <laughs> yeah big old trout yeah dude broke it because you uh the their teeth are nasty That that'd have been exciting. Yeah. Oh, dude. Hammered the jig, dude. Nice. Did you see it off the I did. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and cast it to it? Yeah. <laughs> I did. I cheated. I seen it on the TV. See, I, I seen it on the TV, threw my jig out there, and kapow. Dude, that's nice right there. I'm working on a limit here, boys. I don't know what y'all doing back there. I mean, I, I told you you're welcome to come up here and look at the TV with me. Y'all don't want to look at the TV. That That's, I mean, that one, that one hammered it. He done hammered it. Dang it, had him. Get one right back in there. Yeah, dude, they're right in this. Huh? Yep. All you need is a bed in it. My dad told me that Got him. Got him, baby. Jig. Oh, nice one, too. Oh, oh, that's a good largey right there. Dude, it did not feel big. Now it's fighting, but dang, nice largey, dude. Am I even recording? Jig. On the jig, it just don't get much better. Oh, dude, look at that. That's a nice dude, Oh my gosh, that's a healthy one, dude. Dang, look at that one. Dude, on, the on the jig. Hey. We're down there. Right in the spot, too. You know what? I got my scale, dude. I'm weighing this one. He's too healthy not to weigh. Dude, there's like five or six down there. 
I don't know if they're all this big, but. Dude, five, 509. 509, dude, almost a six. Ooh, that gets me excited right there. Huh, Dominic? TV. Only thing better than you catching this one is me catching this one. <laughs> hey, make sure you catch me, baby. Me catch me. Right nice one, man. Whoo, man. Right in the spot. Right in the historic spot right there, son. Right where I said. That's what we came over here for, folks. That one fish right there. It's too hard to fish with my crappie jig. Oh, dude, they are on it. They are on it. Come up here. Get up here, punk man. Yeah. Nico Rick. Dude, yeah. it's not for crappie. Oh, but dude, I can do got one. Crappie? That's all crappie, dude. There's oh, no best. Come up to eat it, dude. What? No, that's me reeling in a crappie. Yep, drop straight down, punk man. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna throw some of these in the live wells. Camille wants fish tacos. Crappie, jaw dropper. Don't in the live well. This is a this is a joke, y'all. This is a joke. Oh yeah. That's all you see. No, that's that's better than a flasher. That's too, I mean that's too much probably. Hey everybody, we're back at the house, just editing this video and just wanted to go back over what we did throughout the day. So we started out and I really had a mindset that these fish were gonna be feeding on bait. From what I've heard and from past experience that these fish would be feeding on bait, some suspended fish. And that's what I looked for right off the bat. And I was using that jaw dropper, the first gen fishing jaw dropper head with a baby Z2 on the back and just throwing it out there and just shaking it and following um just keeping it up high and really using my forward facing sonar to see those suspended fish out there and we caught some fish like that and most of the time it's going to be spots or smallmouth when you're fishing like that and then when i moved up shallower i started throwing a spinner bait just kind of covering water getting to the back of this cove i caught a good smallmouth so i threw that a little bit more and then we pulled up to a rocky bank where we've caught jig fish in the past i picked that up and I see some fish swimming around on the rocks up there in about 10 foot of water. And uh, I see them on the forward facing sonar. I throw the jig up there and doing, get a good largemouth. The first really decent fish of the day, um, the biggest one of the day. So then we move around. I look for suspended fish again, nothing. And then go to the back of another cove with some rock. And right away, I don't see this fish on forward facing sonar just based on the spot, past history, throw the jig up there, working it back get hit again, and boom, catch that 5.9. So, and then we go look for some crappie, find the crappie, and actually the crappie did not want to eat. Didn't want to eat, there was hundreds of them where we were at, didn't want to eat, we caught one on the first cast. After that, that was it, shut down. So, couldn't get those. Sorry, my cat's like walk, every time I get on the computer, the cat wants to walk back and forth in front of the computer, and the rest of the day doesn't want any attention, so, whatever, but, uh, so then run back to Markley Cove where we launched, see a bunch of bait. There's tons of bait in there. Start fishing for these fish again, suspended, nothing. So end of the day, I would go there right now and just fish shallow. I don't think you have to fish deep at all. I think there's big largemouth to be had up shallow. You don't need forward facing sonar. Go look at rocky points, chunk rock, um, those transition zones from just mud or small rock to that big chunk rock on points or back of creek channels, things like that. Just fish it slow, drag a jig, a drop shot, a Ned rig, a Nico style bait, something like that. 
and you could catch them. And that's where the bigger largemouth are going to be. I've never caught big largemouth at Berryessa offshore, really, that weren't on the bottom, like suspended feeding fish. Typically for me, those are always going to be spots. But if you want to have a big, big bag and give yourself a chance of catching a big fish up there, because there's big largemouth, you want to be fishing on the bottom. Um, they're going to be in the shallower, shallower areas of the lake, typically. Uh, so keep that in mind when you go out there. Also, we're going to do the giveaway for this video right now. So hopefully you stay to the end. We're going to do our monthly giveaway right now. So let's go ahead, take a look at the comments and pull up our winner. All right, so here's the channel right here. You can see we have 6,412 subs. Thank all of you guys. We have a bunch of videos, contents. Right here, you can see right here, estimated revenue. So most YouTubers, I don't know why, most of them don't show you exactly what they're gonna make. Like it's some secret. I mean, I get it. Some income is private to people, but this is just for fun and we're giving away half of this every single month. Right now, estimated revenue for the month is $93.88. Now, it was up to like 150. So what I'm gonna do, I'm still gonna give away, we're gonna give away $70 for this giveaway right here. So let's go ahead and look at content here and see. So in the month of January, we had basically one, two, three, four videos we posted. Let's go ahead and let's just say this video right here, fishing was so bad I went home and then smashed them. I think that's what the name of it was. Had 2,300 views, a little bit more, 68 comments. Let's go ahead and pick that one and we're gonna go ahead and select a comment from this one right here. So I'm gonna grab the link. This is how I do it. I throw it in here in the YouTube um, comment picker. Paste that in here. We're gonna add comment replies. There's gonna be one winner. Um, ask you for this number right here we're going to grab our comments so right here it says 68 comments which is correct and then what we're going to do is go here and just click start and let's see drum roll let's see who's going to win this one right here sometimes oh the real papa rich the real papa rich says nice scenery so the real papa rich you are the winner. Go ahead, shoot us an email at thebasshucklebat at gmail.com and I'll get right back to you. We're gonna send you your $70 in the form of a gift card to wherever you want. It could be Amazon. Amazon pretty much has everything on it. So go ahead, shoot us an email, thebasshookup at gmail.com. Thank you guys all for watching this video. Hope you had fun watching it, getting out on Berryessa. Um, we got some storms rolling through right now, but I have another Delta video coming out next. And so you guys will be sure, you know, be sure to watch that one. I know all you guys are wondering how that's fishing out there right now with this warmer weather we had, but uh, probably gonna wait till this storm th rolls through right here to get back out on the big boat. But until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.